343 recently posted a brand new cannon fodder blog update. The big thing being it brings some really unique armor sets to MCC for Season 8 and how this all kind of ties into Halo Infinite. Want to know more? Well stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So it looks like we have some insane new armor sets coming to the MCC and I'm sure a lot of people are not too keen on this not really matching exactly the art style though we're gonna have some cross game armor customization coming in for MCC this upcoming season and how all these crazy new armor sets kind of lead us to what to expect for Halo Infinite as well. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. It really lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a wrap up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So let's start for where I believe they got this concept for this kind of crazy armor styles coming to the MCC. And this is coming from the fractures that I think we're gonna have for Halo Infinite. I'm sure you guys have all seen this image. This is the Yoroi armor set as part of the season one fracture, which is basically kind of like a way for 343 to create some crazy new armor sets that are not exactly lore accurate, being, well, exactly looking like a straight up sick ass badass samurai. Well, that would certainly be a, not exactly lore accurate, but damn, does that look cool. And it looks like we're gonna get the same kind of idea, but with the MCC now. And Grim Brother One kind of goes into descriptions of why they're bringing in these new armor sets to the MCC and says it right here, dubbed Mythic, Season 8 of the MCC will showcase Halo in a deliberately divergent way. As a big fan of all manner of media, I've always personally enjoyed when a beloved franchise can be viewed through a unique lens, applying different themes, art styles, eras, and more to create unexpected new experiences. So is 343 just riffing off of uh, like What If in the multiverse from Marvel? No, I was kidding. Moments that can sit alongside a core universe and give you a fresh little detour while keeping all of your beloved existing fiction and details neatly intact. Whether it's a samurai take on Star Wars or a steampunk take on Batman, seeing familiar elements given a wild and far out twist can simultaneously give you a fun new thing to enjoy while also helping you appreciate the core reasons why you love the original thing in the first place. The upcoming season for the MCC does just that and also helps set a stage for more experimental themes to come in the future in this and other venues. And this is what he's talking about right here, these crazy new armor sets that are going to be coming into the MCC. And like, you can look like a legit Spartan. Your Spartan can be a Spartan now. All these armor sets are just so crazy unique, so different, yet so cool at the same time. Like now you can pretty much look like some kind of mythical badass. <laughs> you can slay your enemies. Like the ship will have like this Medusa face right here. Like that is just so cool. Obviously it doesn't exactly fit the art style of Halo 3 much, but it's one of those things where like, it just looks so badass and unique that I'm okay with this, honestly. Like, this is just such a cool, unique take on this whole thing. I guess Halo's going into the multiverse just like Spider-Man and the Marvel series. It's just gonna go crazy detail like this. Like, look, you have freaking, freaking straight up dragon armor coming into the MCC. This is just amazing stuff right here. Uh, you got Bloodhound now from Apex Legends coming in. Or if you want to, you know, Wear your COVID masks. This is uh, how you go into wave four right here, looking like this. Uh, I love this armor set because I look like a ship Diablo character, and I do love the Diablo franchise. I do play it quite often. And these armor sets are just so cool. Like, check out the body piece. Like, check out the bat wing shoulder right here. Like, that is just so freaking cool. And then this one right here, you can just straight up just look like the guy from Skyrim. You can have your Skyrim character right there in Halo with like a wolf shoulder piece as well. Just. Guys, like, this armor sets are probably some of the best armor sets I've ever seen come into Halo 3. I mean, look, at you can look like Loki now. I mean, I've loved the show. Might as well dress up like Loki now, right? So it's really cool to see, like, how 343 is kind of, like, wearing their influences on their sleeve, bringing it in these kind of armor sets into MCC. Uh, but I believe kind of ultimately what the point is, is that these are kind of ramping us up, get us ready for what's going to come for Halo Infinite. Because we do know that there are going to be these fracture events coming for Halo Infinite, and 
and maybe some of the things might be a little more outlandish than just like the samurai armor that we were going to get for season one of Halo Infinite. I did make a video previously that there is going to be like a snowman helmet in some capacity. Now, I don't know if that's going to be like a straight up unlock. My guess is probably more like a seasonal kind of thing. Maybe the maybe go along with season one unlocks as well. Just kind of just join in with the festivities of being like fall turning into winter kind of time. Or maybe you could just dress up like a snowman in Halo Infinite. I don't know. We just have to look, you know, we can't really judge it too much because those are just the leaks. But, you know, if it does end up being true within the game, I think it's because it's fun customization. When it comes to the multiplayer side of things, I don't really care too much about it breaking the lore or losing your immersion because multiplayer innately is just like not realistic whatsoever because you're killing players and then they just kind of poop respawn back in that's not exactly how real life works and just like the way the gameplay kind of plays out these and it's not really realistic kind of situations but it certainly is a lot of fun and so having these non-lore like armor sets but looking really freaking badass um i'm totally fine with which looks like we might actually have to come in with halo reach as well so specifically you know i thought that we we're gonna have some kind of like for forgotten armor sets like kind of like we had with like the GRD helmet earlier in the year coming to the MCC, but it looks like right here saying, now I know that we did say this is all usable within Halo 3 multiplayer, but the helmet specifically will also be available to unlock and use for Halo Reach MCC as well. So we're finally getting some new armor sets coming to Halo Reach as well, all these helmets. Now, I don't know why not the body pieces or other pieces of the armor as well. My guess is probably maybe like the scaling of the Spartans when it comes to their body types within Reach might be a little bit different than in Halo 3. And it might kind of have like some janky animations or kind of clipping kind of issues right there. It might be the reason why we don't have that. Now, I did talk about this on my live stream, which we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And some people were talking about how they feel like Halo 2 is getting really neglected. Collected. And I think the main reason why we're not really seeing any Halo 2 customization for the most part is because Halo 2's engine has been notoriously known as a complete mess, to be honest. Like, somehow it works. Now, I've even heard rumors why, like, H2A doesn't get any updates because they need to kind of, I guess, kind of correspond that with Halo 2 Classic as well, which I can kind of see that for, like, continuity's sake to have, like, these two different games, which are technically one in the same, but they definitely do play out very differently. But it's kind of one of those things, like, if you're bringing content to H2A, you probably need to bring it over to Halo, Classic, Halo 2 Classic as well, which I think was what brings up that issue. You. That's the rumor going around. I'm not totally sure. I need to confirm that. But that's why you've been seeing more stuff for like Halo 4, Halo 3, and now Halo Reach as well, and also a little bit of CE. And season 8 of the MCC is looking to be one of the greatest seasons we've ever had, guys. I'm incredibly excited about this. This is the long list of brand new features coming to the MCC. One being the custom game browser with the additions of Combat Evolved and Halo 3, along with Phase 2 implementations, which include filters, search, and options, and other improvements to create, browse, and session detail pages. So the version two, essentially, of custom game browser is coming with season eight. File share for PC is finally happening, so for, I can finally just start searching files and downloading them for custom games, which is fantastic. We have all new campaign collectibles for Halo 3 campaign. Uh, campaign customization as well for CE and 3 will, will allow vehicle and weapon skins to be selected in options as well, which is really freaking cool. We got some big changes for ODC's Firefight that have it being more in line with Reach's options. And we have a, also have a brand new map for Halo 3 called Icebox with a remake of Halo 2's Turf coming in as well. I've, I've talked about this map in the previous videos as well as guys. This map is pretty much like a straight true recreation of Turf brought into Halo 3. Trust me, I played it on when Halo Online was like the playable game back then, and it is really freaking cool. But check out this screenshot right here, guys. This is ODST Firefight, and guess what they're fighting right here? The Flood. Yes, we're gonna have Flood Firefight with Season 8 as well, which is incredibly cool. I think this is something that fans have been asking for for years now at this point for ODST's Firefight, or just Firefight in general to have the Flood. Now, we're finally gonna be able to have it, guys, and I can't wait to play it and fight it for you guys as well. So this is all great news and everything, but when are we gonna get a chance to actually play around with all this awesome news? Well, currently right now, they're in Ring 1, which are three rings within the testing process for MCC flights. So from previous experiences of when it goes from ring one to ring three, it could take about 
two weeks or so or something like that. This blog update was posted up back on last Friday, so I wouldn't expect a flight for the MZC until maybe next week. And then maybe the week after that, we have the Halo Infinite flight as well. Of course, that's just speculation. We won't know until we actually get the information. And I guarantee I'll be making a video as soon as we get that stuff on this channel, guys. So make sure you follow. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, here's a playlist with all my Halo informational news videos right there for you guys to catch up on everything about Halo. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.